Hey guys, it's Coach Mazzoni with uh, Sacred Heart University Baseball. I'm the pitching coach and here with uh, another tip along the lines of the mental approach to pitching. And I'm going to loosely title this, Pitching is More Work Than Most of You Give It Credit For. Okay. Um, unlike hitting where we have a bat, unlike hockey where you have a stick or golf where you have a club or tennis where you have a racket, we have only our bodies to project this five ounce baseball to the plate. Your body has to do a tremendous amount of work and sometimes because the ball is five ounces I can do a lot of things 75% of my intensity and still get this object from the mound to the plate. Yet pitching should be much more work. It should be, you should be strength training in a way that gets your body from especially through the core and hamstrings and groin and hips and lower back strong. I know this, I throw batting practice, I throw about 200-300 pitches a day. I don't get sore, but there's times when I need to pitch, whether it's in a recreational league or during practice, and I'm 60 feet 6 inches, and I got to try to get college D1 hitters out, and the next day I have a hard time getting out of my bed. I feel it as a lefty in my right upper hamstring, my right butt cheek, my right hip, my lower back, definitely in my lat and certain parts of my arm, especially the back of my arm that I don't feel when I throw batting practice. And it makes me very uh, aware that pitching is a full body effort. So I see a lot of guys pitching almost in a way that they were a quarterback throwing just like a 10 yard pass or a, a puncher just throwing an average punch. To me, pitching is a quarterback throwing a 70 yard pass or a boxer throwing a layout punch, but it's every pitch. And that means what? That means that we should be riding out our delivery. Instead of kind of staying nice and balanced and tall and throwing upright and not finishing, pitching should be a lot more driving into the ground, foot into the ground, riding ourselves on our back leg, front hip out, shoulders tilted, riding that out as long as possible, which then gets us out front at, at our release and with a big kick through our finish. Watch big league pitchers. They're not throwing 80%. They're throwing 90, 95 relievers 100%. They're putting max effort into the pitches. And yet when I work with little guys or recruit or watch other pitchers or some of my pitches, I, I get astonished by the fact that they're, they're throwing. And I'm not saying every, I just want to interject and say, not every pitch has to be max effort. Real good pitchers know how to operate at 95% and then step it up when they need to. But those guys at 95% are still putting a ton of effort through their full body to deliver the pitch. So pitching is a lot more work than most of you give it credit for. Um, and I really say this and, and train guys with med balls. If you take a 10 pound med ball and get on the mound and try to drive and throw that ball and film yourself and take a look, you should realize that that amount of body exertion should be what you do even when you have the five ounce baseball. It should be very, very similar. But a lot of guys don't have that same intensity because the ball is so light. So pitching is a lot more work. Give it a lot more effort. It's like throwing a 70 yard bomb. It's like a knockout punch. It's a full body effort. So look forward to seeing you in the next tip. Again, it's Coach Mazzoni with D1 Pitching Mechanics covering the 10 mental approaches that make the best.